Hello, my name is Sean Copeland and I'm Chairman and CEO of Regent Bank and welcome to another edition of Regent Elevate. This is our weekly video series where we're trying to bring you information that will help to elevate you and your business to the next level. I want to remind you that all these videos are available on our website at regent.bank under the resources tab and if you enjoy the content please share it. Uh, please let your friends know about it. Please like it uh, on Facebook. All we want to do, and LinkedIn, all we want to do is get this content out to people so it can help them to be more successful and, and uh, live a better life. So thanks so much for joining us. We're right in the middle of a series on seven signs of a successful leader. And this was based upon a Gallup survey that was done some time back for the top 100 companies of the last 100 years. They really dissected the leadership and they found out that they all had seven things in common. Last time we talked about the fact that successful leaders do not pretend to have all the answers. They're not autocratic. It's not an anarchy. They're not telling everybody what to do. They are getting feedback and they are a facilitator more than they are a dictator. Today we want to talk about the fact that successful leaders never pass the buck. Now, have you ever worked for somebody that when times were good, they took all the credit, but when things didn't go well, they passed the blame along to others? This happens all the time in corporate America. In reality, when, when we say that when we have great results, it's all us, when we have bad results, it's the economy or it's some other factor uh, that caused us to have bad results. Great leaders completely take ownership. They take ownership for the good, the bad. In fact, here's really the way that it works with great leaders. When things are going really well, you should be deflecting the praise. Because in all honesty, it's not you anyway. It, it's, it's your other employees that are making it happen. So you ought to be always giving the credit. But when things go bad, you need to take the hit. You are the leader you are responsible uh, for the organization. Great leaders accept full responsibility for the performance of their division, their department, or their company. Uh, one of our good friends uh, calls it flies in the kitchen. He says that if you're, if you're in the kitchen and you're cooking, he, he was a CEO at, uh, COO at Disney, he said if you're, in the, if you're in the kitchen and you're cooking and there are flies in there and you allow the flies to remain, that's your fault. You're, you're the one that are allowing to, them to remain. In your organization, if there are problems and things that, that are not working, that's, that's on you. As the leader, you have to own that. You can't constantly be looking for a way out or a way to blame someone else or a way to you know deflect. You just got to own it. People respect that and your, your employees and your shareholders and your directors uh, will all respect that as well. So our number six tip, and we're, we'll be done next week, uh, but our number six tip is successful leaders totally take ownership and never pass the buck. Next week we're going to wrap up by talking about how successful leaders don't do other people's jobs, and I think you're going to really like that one. We'll look forward to seeing you next week.